Today we visit Oxnard Airport. Quick story. I was lined up perfectly going into Camarillo. So confident, even told my wife, there's the airport. Until I'm a mile from the approach end and Tower says, you are lined up for Oxnard, not Camarillo. So I had to do a 180 and get back into sequence. But that is one of the first things that people warn you about when you're going into either of these airports. They're both only four miles apart from each other. They're parallel runways. They look really similar. So always double check the runway you're lined up with. And a big thanks to that Camarillo controller who was very patient with me about it. With only two and a half miles from the coast, one of the things we always have to be aware of is that marine layer, which can come in at any time. Ironically, on this day, there was clouds inland, so we had to come in IFR, but as you can see, the coast was pretty clear. Arrow 39er Hotel, turn left taxiway Alpha 4, contact ground 121 point honor. That's an Alpha 4 and over to ground 39er Hotel. Now when we make our turn here back to the east, you'll see all the clouds we had to fly above. That would not be the story on the way back though, as we'd be flying right in the clouds. It had been a minute since we had flown hard IMC, and you can hear it in my wife's voice how overwhelming it was initially. Our ground arrow one and our three arrow hotel clear of two five at Alpha four for transient. One nine three nine hotel locks our ground turn left on uh, Alpha taxi transit parking that's just past the uh, tower and terminal building. Make a left on Alpha and uh, transient just past the uh, tower three nine hotel. Holy moly, that was a lot of clouds. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because when we first got into it, yeah. I was like, ooh, okay. yeah. I remember what this feels like now. <laughs> yeah. It was a, it took a minute. Like, it did. That's no joke though. It is not. It is, um, yeah. You gotta, that's why you gotta keep practicing it. It's a feeling. Yeah, IMC is a feeling because you're really disoriented, but I have to admit, I feel like maybe it's easier for me just because I think as a pilot, you're so focused on the instruments, you don't have time to look outside or focus on anything else. So you, you stay occupied. For me personally, it's those VFR days where it's smooth and you're just following a route that you start thinking about like, what was that noise? Or is the plane supposed to feel that way? IMC gives you no time, but to think, fly the plane. Oxnard Airport used to have commercial flights. The last flight took place in June 2010, and ever since then it's been used mostly as a general aviation airport. But agriculture is also a big part here in this part of the state, so you'll definitely be seeing agriculture aviation traffic. One of the huge benefits of having an amazing navigator is they see things you do not. Please park facing aircraft west. Where does it say that? On the wall over there. Oh, I was going to do that anyways, but perfect. Now, as I said before, they did used to have commercial flights here, and you can still see remnants of that in the terminal. That terminal is open? I don't know. Only one way to find out. You can enter the terminal building through those sliding glass doors. And even though there's not much inside, there's still bathrooms and you can get a glimpse of the old luggage conveyor belts. All right, checklist time. If you found this video helpful or intriguing, give us a like. If you don't want to miss our next airport, subscribe. If you have any questions about this airport, like what to do here or anything like that, please leave a comment. All right, checklist complete.
Now, this is one of those airports that there really wasn't much for us to do here, but we really enjoyed looking into the history of this airport. And you'll still get some fancy planes coming in and out of here. 